we're going to do a little proof here that, to show that 2 divides n plus n squared for all n in the natural numbers. This is not a difficult proof to do. You can actually do a, a direct proof fairly easily to show that's true. For example, you could break the natural numbers into even and odds to cover both cases. When n is even, then we know that n squared, which is n times n, would be the product of an even times an even, which itself would be an even number. When n is even, then n is even. So the quantity n plus n squared would be the sum of an even number plus an even number, which is an even number. So when n plus n squared is even, then obviously 2 can go into it because it's an even number. So you could easily conclude that 2 does divide n plus n squared. Similarly, when n is odd, the quantity n squared, which is n times n, would be an odd times an odd, which is an odd number. If n is odd, then n is odd. So the sum of these two, n plus n squared, would be an odd number plus an odd number, which is an even number again. So even in the case when n is odd, n plus n squared is even, so 2 would divide n plus n squared. So this will be an easy direct proof to do, or way to do it. Since we're doing mathematical induction right now, though, let's do this via mathematical induction. So what we're trying to establish, really, is the statement p of n, where the statement p is a function of the natural number n. And we're trying to establish that this statement is true. 2 does divide n plus n squared for all natural numbers n. So when we do a mathematical induction proof, the way we always start is we first have to establish that the statement we're looking at is true for the case of n equals 0. So what is the statement p of 0? Well, that is the statement, does 2 divide 0 plus 0 squared, or does 2 divide 0? And the answer is yes. 2 goes into 0, 0 times. It goes in there with no remainder. So this is a very trivial thing to check to make sure that the statement p of 0 is true. The next step in mathematical induction is we let n be an n, and we assume that p of n is true. So we're going to assume that p of n is true. And then we need to show that this implies that p of n plus 1 is true. So to start this part of the proof, we're actually going to write down or compute what the p of n plus 1 statement is. So I'm going to look up at the top, and the n's that I have, it's 2 divides n plus n squared. I'm going to replace all of those n's with n plus 1's. So the first n I replace with an n plus 1. And the second n I'll replace with an n plus 1. So now I'm working with the quantity n plus 1 plus n plus 1 quantity squared. For p of n plus 1 to be true, I need to show that this is divisible by 2, or that 2 divides it. Okay? If we do just a little algebra, we can multiply this out, n plus 1. And if I multiply out the n plus 1 times n plus 1, I get n squared plus 2n plus 1. And I can combine like terms to get n squared n plus n squared plus 2n plus 2, and I could even factor out the 2 there to have n plus n squared plus 2 times n plus 1. So, so far all I'm doing is a computation. Now, though, I'm going to go ahead and use my assumption. I'm assuming that p of n is true. What does it mean to assume that p of n is true? It means that n plus n squared is divisible by 2, which is equivalent to saying that there exists some k in the natural numbers such that I can write 2 times k equals n plus n squared. This is what it means for n plus n squared to be divisible by 2. I can find another integer k such that 2 times k is equal to n plus n squared. So since I'm assuming this is true, I can make this algebraic substitution and replace the n plus n squared with 2k. So that's what I've done here. And then I still have my 2 times n plus 1. But now I can go ahead and factor out the 2. I can write this as 2 times k plus n plus 1. Looking at this, this is clearly divisible by 2, right? It's 2 times an integer, so this is clearly divisible by 2. And think about what I started with computing here. I started off by computing, computing n plus 1 plus quantity n plus 1 squared. So what we've just shown is that 2 does divide n plus 1 plus n plus 1 squared. So this is an even number. So we have shown that p of n plus 1 is true. So we verified that p of 0 is true. Assuming p of n is true, we've shown that p of n plus 1 is true. So, by mathematical induction, p of n is true for all n in the natural numbers, and we have accomplished what we wanted to do. We've actually done it both ways. We did a direct proof, and then we did a similar, or the exact same proof, but using a different method, and that method was the method of mathematical induction.